What's pop locking and dropping YouTube? It's your boy G.I. Joe here, and today I'm going to show you how to defeat the War Priest in the King's Fall Raid. Now, this is going to be the first boss of three mini bosses, and then Oryx himself. So, basically, this involves a bunch of teamwork and these glyphs you can see right in front of you. To start it up, all you're going to have to step on all three of the pads. I suggest splitting up into four groups. You're going to have one in the back right corner. You can see my friend's gamer tag. That's exactly where you're going to want to stay. So you can call out which one of the glyphs has to be stepped on first. One guy in the middle, preferably a titan with the bubble. Two on the left and two on the right. And I suggest the two on the left and the two on the right help the guy in the middle because it can become quite overwhelming at some points. So... To start it off, all of you will step on the pads and it will activate. And then after that, a glyph sequence will start. And the person who is back in that right corner will have to call out which glyph is lit up first. They will light up in random order, so you got to make sure whoever's calling it out is on point and very vocal. You're going to have to definitely work as a team and use communication. So once you've had all those glyphs start sequencing, you're going to want to step on the pads in those orders and then the last person to step on the pad will get an aura around him dealing extra damage to the war priest. Now everybody except for that guy is going to shoot at the war priest. The person with the aura around him is going to have to kill acolytes so make sure nobody is shooting acolytes or the time will run out and the, gl the aura will go to a different person. You definitely don't want that to happen. You want to do this as quickly as possible. Once you see that you're not doing any more damage, you're going to have to stand in the shadow of these glyphs and just don't die. Once the shadow is over, it will uh, make the glyph disappear and you're done with that wave. It's going to take about three, three to four waves for you to kill him. Preferably three because on the fourth wave, if you don't kill him, you will just die because there's nothing to hide behind. So make sure you get that done as quickly as possible. Now I'm going to let this play through a little bit so you can get a gist of what exactly you have to do, where everybody has to be. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. One quick thing before I go. I recommend the first glyph you go to to destroy is the top left just because everybody has to jump up there. And it makes life a lot easier not having to worry about that one. So like I said, just go for the, the top left as the first one. Then I would go for the right one as the second. And then the middle for the last one. It makes makes life a lot easier so here it goes and I'll see you guys in a second
Alright, so as you can see, we're on the War Priest right now. I was dead, unfortunately, but I was able to be brought up. We didn't do the order that I told you guys, left, right, then middle. We ended up doing middle, left, then right. But left, right, and middle is definitely the easiest way to do it because there's less stuff in your way, and it's less of a hassle. Uh, but that's basically it. If you follow the steps that I gave you, you should definitely be able to beat them without any issues. Hopefully this helped you out. If it did, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If it didn't, do the opposite, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.